Okay, for the next step of our notes, I'm going to be drawing the front of three boxes. I'm going to be drawing one below the horizon line. I'm going to be drawing one at the horizon line. And I'm going to be drawing a box above the horizon line. If you recall, we've learned that every object that you draw has to face the viewer directly. So let's say this is my box. It faces the viewer directly. It is not at an angle. It can be to the left or the right of the vanishing point. It can be above or below the horizon line. And if you'll notice, if it's above the horizon line, you'll notice you can see the front of the box, you can see the bottom of the box, and you can see the side of the box. If it's at the horizon line, you can see the front of the box and the side, but you can't see the top or the bottom. That's because it's at eye level. If it is below, the angle of the camera is not very clear, but you can see the top of the box, the front, and the side. Now, notice how it changes. If it's right at the vanishing point, you would only see the front of the box. If it's low, you would see a little bit of the top, and we'll do that in the drawing. And if it's above, you would see the front of the box and a little bit of the bottom of the box, but you wouldn't see the sides. So where you place your box will determine what part of the box is visible. It's in relationship to the horizon line and the vanishing point. And remember, the vanishing point always lies on the horizon line. It does not have to be in the picture plane, but it does have to remain on the horizon line. So, I'm going to begin by drawing one of my boxes below the horizon line. Now, in order to make sure that your box is parallel to the picture plane, you're going to take your ruler and you're going to line it up with the bottom of the paper, making sure it's nice and straight. And you're going to draw the line for the box straight across. Go straight across. The top of the box, I'm going to slide up a little bit. Draw the top of the box. The top edge of the front of the box. Now, I'm going to put the side of the box in. Notice, when I line up my ruler, I am making sure that it is going straight up and down because it must be parallel to the picture plane. Parallel means running the same direction. If they were to extend forever, the two lines would never meet. This side of the front of the box is parallel to the left side. So we have one box here. This is just the front of the box. We're going to put another box at the horizon line. I'll make this one a little bit thinner, tall and skinny. You'll notice the see-through ruler allows me to make sure that my line is parallel to the picture plane, straight across and straight up and down. Then I'm going to lay my ruler parallel to the edge of the paper and I'm going to draw the right edge and the left edge. Okay, so there's the front of my second box. Now you'll notice that because this box is going to be a solid object, I'm going to end up erasing the line as it goes through the box. But you can go in later and do all of your erasing, or you can do it as you go, whichever you prefer. My third and final box for this section is going to be up here at the top. I'm going to make it a long, thin box. Again, my ruler is straight across. I'm going to slide it up. Your boxes can be any size or shape that you choose. They can be long and thin. They can be short and fat. It's up to you. Just as long as the edges go straight up and down and straight across. 
Now, I have now drawn the front side of each of my three boxes. Go ahead and take a moment and do this next step. I'll be back in a minute to continue. 